Welcome to teach me animated math. In this solve along video, we'll be simplifying expressions by applying all properties of exponents. This is the second part, so it will consist of intermediate and difficult problems. Take note of this table summarizing the properties of exponents. We will be using more combinations of it in this challenging second part. If this concept doesn't look familiar to you, then I suggest that you first watch our explainer video on integer exponents. If it looks familiar, but the problems feel difficult, then please watch the first part. You can find the links for these videos in the description below. There will be a three second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video and solve it on your own first, or just watch the video straight. All right, let's start solving. Use the fourth property for the first and second terms because they have negative exponents. Use the first property for the third term, since its exponent is 0. 8 squared is 64. 4 cubed is 64. The total sum is equal to negative 1. Use the 8th property to distribute the exponent to, to each term inside the parenthesis. Use the 7th property for the x term. Multiply the exponent 2 with 2, which results in the exponent 4. Use the 7th property for the y term. Multiply the exponent negative 3 with 2, which results in the exponent negative 6. Use the fourth property for the y term. The final answer is 16x to the fourth power over y to the sixth power. Simplify 18 over 27 by canceling 9. This gives us 2 over 3. Use the sixth property for the k and p terms. The exponent of k is 2 minus 5 or negative 3. The exponent of p is 9 minus 2 or 7. Use the fourth property for the k term. The final simplified form is 2p to the 7th power over 3k to the 3rd power. First, simplify the terms inside the parenthesis. Negative 16 over 8 is just negative 2. Use the 6th property for the m and n terms. The new exponent of m is 2 minus 5 or negative 3. The new exponent of n is 7 minus negative 2 or 9. Using the seventh property, distribute the exponent negative 2. The exponent of base negative 2 is negative 2. The new exponent of m is negative 3 times negative 2, or 6. The new exponent of n is 9 times negative 2, or negative 18. Use the fourth property for base negative 2 and base n. The square of negative 2 is 4. The final answer is m to the 6th power, divided by 4n to the 18th power.
first, simplify 4 over 12 into 1 third. Use the 7th, 8th and 9th properties to distribute the exponent negative 3 to the terms inside the parenthesis. The exponent of base 3 is negative 3. The new exponent of x is 3 times negative 3 or negative 9. The new exponent of z is negative 5 times negative 3 or positive 15. The new exponent of y is negative 2 times negative 3 or positive 6. Use the fourth property for bases 3 and x. Base 3 is moved to the numerator and its exponent is now positive 3. Base x is moved to the denominator and its exponent is now positive 9. Expand 3 cubed. The simplified form is 27z to the 15th power over x to the 9th power, y to the 6th power. Use the 7th and 8th properties to distribute the exponents negative 3 and positive 2 to the terms inside the parentheses. The exponent of negative 2 is negative 3. The exponent of y is negative 3. The exponent of 6 is 2. The new exponent of y is negative 2 times 2 or negative 4. The new exponent of z is 8 times 2 or 16. Use the fourth property for base negative 2. Square base 6. Group the constants together and the variables together so that it is easier to spot bases. That can be further simplified. Expanding negative 1 half cube will give us negative 1 eighth. Use the fifth property for base y. The new exponent of y is negative 3 plus negative 4 or negative 7. Use the fourth property for base y since its exponent is negative. 36 and 8 can both be divided by 4. The simplest form is negative 9z to the 16th power divided by 2y to the 7th power. Use the 7th and 8th properties to distribute the exponents negative 4 and positive 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. The exponent of base negative 2 is negative 4. The exponent of a is negative 4. The exponent of 3 is positive 4. The new exponent of a is negative 3 times 4 or negative 12. The new exponent of b is 2 times 4, or positive 8. Group the constants together, and group the variables together, to easily spot bases. That can be simplified. Use the fifth property for base a. The new exponent of a is negative 4 plus negative 12, or negative 16. Use the fourth property for bases negative 2 and a. Expanding 3 to the fourth power to 81 and negative 2 to the fourth power to 16 gives a final answer of 81b to the eighth power divided by 16a to the 16th power.
First, simplify the terms inside the parenthesis. 39 divided by 3 is 13. Use the sixth property for bases X and Y. The exponent of X is 3 minus 7 or negative 4. The exponent of Y is 8 minus 2 or 6. Use the 7th and 8th properties to distribute the exponent negative 2 to all terms inside the parenthesis. The exponent of 13 is negative 2. The new exponent of X is negative 4 times negative 2 or positive 8. The new exponent of Y is 6 times negative 2 or negative 12. Use the fourth property for bases 13 and Y. Expand 13 squared to 169. And the final answer is X to the 8th power over 169Y to the 12th power. Use the 7th and 8th properties to distribute the exponents negative 5 and 2 to the terms inside the parentheses. The exponent of 2 is negative 5. The exponent of x is negative 5. The exponent of 6 is 2. The new exponent of x is 2 times 2 or 4. The new exponent of y is 5 times 2, or 10. Group the constants together. And group the x's together. Use the fifth property for base x. The new exponent of x is negative 5 plus 4, or negative 1. Use the fourth property for bases 2 and x. Expand 6 squared to 36 and 2 to the fifth power to 32. 36 and 32 can be divided by 4. The simplified form is 9y to the 10th power divided by 8x. If you are struggling with math, then I know that this would look quite intimidating. But don't worry, because I'll be guiding you step by step. Always remember, that whenever you encounter a big problem, your first response, should be to control your emotions. Don't let the problem intimidate you. Instead of looking at this, as a big problem, try to look at it, as several small problems. Use the 7th and 8th properties to distribute exponents 2, 4 and negative 5 inside the parentheses. Let's start with the numerator. The exponent of base 4 is 2. The exponent of V is 2. The new exponent of W is negative 3 times 2 or negative 6. The new exponent of X is 2 times 2 or 4. Let's move on to the denominator. The exponent of base 2 is 4. The new exponent of V is 2 times 4, or 8. The new exponent of W is 3 times 4, or 12. The new exponent of X is negative 2 times 4, or negative 8. Next is the right parenthesis group. The exponent of base negative 1 is negative 5. The new exponent of V is 3 times negative 5 or negative 15. The new exponent of W 
is 2 times negative 5, or negative 10. The new exponent of x, is negative 4 times negative 5, or positive 20. Group all constants. Group all terms, with base v. Group all terms, with base w. Group all terms, with base x. Simplify the constants. 4 squared is 16. Negative 1 raised to any odd exponent, is still negative 1. And 2 to the 4th power is 16. Use the 5th and 6th properties. For bases v, w and x. The constants can be simplified to negative 1. The new exponent of v is 2 minus 15 minus 8, or negative 21. The new exponent of w is negative 6 minus 10 minus 12, or negative 28. The new exponent of x is 4 plus 20 minus negative 8, or positive 32. Use the fourth property for bases V and W. The final answer is negative X to the 32nd power divided by V to the 21st power W to the 28th power. All right. This last problem was long, but it's quite satisfying to finish. Did you learn a lot in the second part of solve along using all properties of exponents? How many correct answers did you get while solving along with me? What's your favorite problem from all items in this video? Write it down in the comments section below. Our next lecture video is about the scientific notation. Be sure to subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math so that you don't miss out on learning. See you next time.